So recently on my channel, I have uploaded this video where I have shown how you can easily print any document from your smartphone using your old printer over the network. So this printer doesn't have any network capabilities. It is in a very old printer, but you can use it as a network printer. So in this video, I will show you how that is done. So basically, you need to set up a printer server and share your printer over your local network. Then you can access this printer from your local devices. So your network will look something like this. You have your internet and you have your router. Your router is connected to the internet and it provides internet to your whole house. Then you have your server and server is connected to your network and you need to connect your printer to this server and other devices are connected to the local network using a LAN or Wi-Fi. Now any device on your local network can access this server and since this printer is connected to this server any device on a local network will have access to this printer and you can give print commands and get a print. So here's the summary of steps you need to follow. Basically you need to set up a server which will be your printer server you need to connect this printer to your server and do the setup there and lastly you need to share this printer over your local network. So in this video I will show you the overview of all the steps. We will not go in much detail because that video will become a very technical video and it will be a very huge one. So if you have doubt in any of the steps you can comment below on this video and I will try to help you and will make a separate video for that topic okay. So let's start. So to create a server, you can use any old PC lying in your house, a laptop or a desktop. In my case, you can see I have used this old laptop to create the server. This is an old laptop from HP and the screen doesn't work. But it has a good processor and a graphics card, so it can handle a lot of things. It can not only serve as a printer server, but you can do a lot of things. For example, in my case, I have use this laptop to create a NAS. NAS is network attached storage. You can see here I have a 2 terabyte hard disk connected to this laptop and I have shared this 2 terabyte of space on my local network and I can access that space from any of the device. So it's basically creating your own cloud. Other than that I have also set up the server as a network wide ad blocker or tracking blocker. So there is a service called Pihole and with the help of that pie hole you can block all the ads on your local network long story short you can do a lot of things in this video we are going to talk only about how to share the printer and if you want to know more about other services or other things you can do with the old laptop then please comment i will make a separate video for it so this is the printer this is an old printer you have already seen in the short so this printer is connected to this uh, laptop and I have done the setup to share this printer over the network. Now coming to the software side, you will need a server operating system. In my case, I am using a Ubuntu server. Ubuntu is a very popular Linux distribution and it is very beginner friendly. And you can find a lot of tutorials and support around it. In this video, I will now show you how to install Ubuntu. I am assuming you already know this step and you can install operating system on your own. Else you can search for any video tutorials online and do this step. Next you will need a CUPS printer server. CUPS stands for Common Unix Printing System. This is the main piece of software that will manage the printer on our server and we will be able to share our printer across the network. The next piece of software that we need is a Samba server. Samba server is a service which provides file sharing and printer sharing service on our server. We only need to install this service uh, we need not to do any configuration. Basically, the CUPS will manage all the configuration required to share our printing service. So to install the CUPS server, you can follow the steps given on this website. Uh, this is very easy to follow guide. Basically, you need to do the basic update and then install the CUPS. You need to restart the service and you need to enable the service so that uh, when you restart the server, the CUPS server starts automatically. You need to do some configuration in the cups dconf file which is very important. For example, uh, you need to change this setting browsing off. 
to browsing on otherwise you will not be able to access the uh, service page on any computer and this is one of the most important setting you need to change right so it says localhost 631 it means it will listen only on localhost on port 631 and when you add this new line port 631 it means it will run the service on port 631 but it will be accessible from any computer on your local network uh, these are also a couple of important settings like you need to allow various location of the service uh, this is also important thing so that you can access the admin page and the admin page is very important uh, this is the page where you will configure or add any printer on your network okay once you configure everything in the conf file then you need to restart the service and once service is restarted you are all set uh, these steps are not very much required I think uh, you can get around without these steps but yeah uh, these were the important steps which you need to follow I will attach this link in the description so you can follow along similarly you can install samba service on your server it's basically a one line command sudo apt install samba and you are done let's see the services in the action um, I will use this windows terminal to log into my server you can use any ssh tool so the command is ssh your username at the rate the ip address of your server and you can run this simple command sudo system ctl status cups and it will ask for the password just enter your password and you can see the cup service is running okay similarly you can check the status for your samba server basically samba server uh, runs under name of smdb samba daemon okay, so both services are running and i can access this service on my browser so it is running on port 631 so i will just keep 631 and i want to access the admin page continue this side so this is the admin page for cup service and here you can manage all the printers so if you click on manage printers you can see the printer which are installed on your system okay, so it will show the status it is idle right now in my case so if you want to configure a new printer you need to click here add printer and this will say you need access to access the admin page and it will redirect you to the uh, same page again you need to click the add printer and it will ask for username password so you can just enter your username and password and it will bring you to this page where you can see the list of printers connected to your system so currently my printer is switched off that's why uh, you are not able to see this but as soon as I start my printer you will see it is listed here so I have switched on my printer and you will see it will be listed here in some time see the printer is listed here now you can select the printer you want to install and continue you can rename the printer and this is the important thing you need to click here share this printer so this will use the samba server and configure it and the printer will be shared across the network so that's all you need to just click on continue and then you need to select the printer model here so mine is ml2160 so i will select that and you need to click on add printer so my printer is already added so i will not do that otherwise it will get a conflict so that's all uh, this is how you will configure the printer and you are done so i hope you find this video informative this was a very high level overview of the steps. If you have doubt on any of the steps, please leave a comment and I will try to address it in a follow up video. Till then, take care, enjoy and see you soon.